Hi guys, I'm Alex Southways and welcome to Croatia. Now European countries are really famous for being a perfect mix of heritage and also landscapes that create an idyllic travelling experience. And Croatia is no exception. It's got something for everybody here from the walled cities like Dubrovnik right to the beaches where they hold world famous music festivals. Now rather than coming to the capital, I've started my Croatian experience here in the beautiful Dubrovnik. So apparently it's a brilliant introduction to the country. I've only just landed, so I haven't quite got my bearings, but I'm going to have a look around and see what I can find. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Where you come? Uh, from the UK. Yeah, which part of? London. London. Nice place. <laughs> yeah, it's not as hot as here. One day, maybe I come in Kevin Garden. You know Kevin Garden? I do. Yeah. Or uh, Piccadilly. That's true. That's, and um, another one. Which one is uh, attractive in London? London is all the time very attractive, yeah? Yeah, very but much. Which is also attractive, like Kevin Garden or Piccadilly? Kevin Garden? Yeah? Yeah. I wish you a good time. Thank you. And have a nice day. <laughs> you too. Bye bye. Bye. I like you. <laughs> the people are friendly. <laughs> Dubrovnik is a quaint little town in the south of Croatia which has gained popularity quite recently. A lot of cruise liners have it as a port of call, so this sunny Adriatic coast is always teeming with tourists. People here are quite friendly and I've heard that if you ask a local about some place, you'll end up knowing everything about it. What are some of the top things that you recommend to do in Dubrovnik? To do in Dubrovnik, first you have to go inside the city walls, walk around the city walls if it's not so hot, then to go at the most beautiful island in front of the city, which is the island of Lokrum. Oh, I've we heard call of that. it the cursed island. To do snorkeling, chilling, eating in the local restaurants, or swim in a dead sea. Some people also go to the cable car. Oh yeah. Cable car to visit Fort Imperial, which was the last point of defense of city of Dubrovnik in the 90s, which was recent history, the homeland war. If you have more time, then you go up on the north northern coast, like Hvar, to Brač, which are the party places. Now much more popular because of the Ultra Music Festival, oh, yeah. which is happening in Miami and in Croatia. What kind of budget are you looking at for a day in Dubrovnik? So per budget, usually people spend some 50 to 60 euros per day on a food. Depends how they are going to make some short trips around the city. So, so I've seen a lot of people wandering around with ice cream. So can you recommend somewhere good to go? It's some culture to do. Eat the ice cream here in the city of Dubrovnik. So I will take you through the side streets where the locals are having the best ice cream. Okay, that sounds yeah. good. Should yeah, we go? Welcome. That's the place. Okay. The best place for the ice cream in the city of Dubrovnik. That's why it's so crowded here in the city of Dubrovnik. Choose, choose your one. Okay. Here. Okay. Good afternoon. Ooh. Amazing. There's a massive selection, but it's going to be dark chocolate every time for me. Dark are, you, are you sure you want the dark chocolate? Why? You have Dubrovnik bitter orange. Really? Can I yeah. not have one of each? Yeah, <laughs> you can have two. Yeah, okay. Oh. I think they do double cone. Yeah, double cone. Double cone. So dark chocolate, bitter orange. So for you, it's going to be Dubrovnik bitter orange with oh, dark, dark chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so I've got my ice cream. I think I'm ready to explore Dubrovnik. Shall we go? Shall we go? Yeah. Passing through the old town gives a glimpse of the local life. I bump into a wedding ceremony with people in traditional clothes singing some local songs. It's so merry and welcoming. I stay for a while. Sunshine here is in the personalities of the people too.
just behind me there, you've got the Catholic Cathedral. There's the monastery over here, which was on the set of Game of Thrones. Everywhere you look, there's something photo worthy. You've got the bell tower up ahead. And just behind that, you've got the cable car up Mount Surge, which I think is probably the next place that I'm going to go and check out. I've decided to walk because that's the quickest and best way to reach the cable car station. There are beautiful Baroque buildings along the way. So I've got my ticket now for one of the most popular tourist destinations in Dubrovnik and this is the cable car up Mount Surge. As you can see behind me, there's just hundreds of people queuing up already and that's because at the top there's a war museum and fantastic views across the Adriatic and over the old town of Dubrovnik. Now, I think I better go and flirt my way into this queue because I don't want to wait in the sun for that long. <laughs> Takes about 25 people at a time, so hopefully I'll get in on this one. It's nearly here. Looks a bit like it's going to be a travelling greenhouse. I think it'll be quite hot on the way up. The original cable car system suffered damage during the Croatian Independence War, but it was restored in 2010. As we climb up, I can see the whole town laid out in front of me. This is exactly what I'd expected to see. Beautiful orange tiled roofs, islands dotting the blue water and the sea spread out as far as I can see. Ready for the good views. We've got such a lovely view from up here, we're about 405 metres above sea level. You can see all the terracotta roofs there in the old town and the famous city walls as well. On a particularly clear day you can probably see about 60 kilometres and hundreds of islands. It's a bit cloudy today so the view is not quite as good but it's still pretty impressive. There's also a war museum up here which commemorates the Yugoslavian breakup so I'm going to go and have a look at that now. the Croatian people never lost their spirit and this spirit still lives on today. 